For decades, the 9-11 Memorial Museum has been tracking down photos of every person who died in the attacks. They had a photo for all but two of the victims until now. The next to last photo was added to the museum's in memoriam exhibit today. News 4's Greg Sergal introduces us to the man behind the photo, Albert Ogletree. It is a wall that no one wants to be on. These are the faces of those lost on 9-11. More than 2,900 images hanging in a special gallery of the 9-11 Memorial. Museum associate Grant Yerer works in this gallery, and he was troubled by one photo that was missing. I felt definitely that there was a hole in the story. Yerer devoted about eight months to filling that hole. His goal to find a photo of Albert Ogletree, a 49-year-old cafeteria worker who died in the North Tower. We uh, found that he had been married, um, but in 2004, his wife had uh, died. Museum curator Jan Ramirez says little more was known about Ogletree until last year, when Grant Yerer turned to Facebook and found Ogletree's stepdaughter in Harlem. She informed me that he was a camera shy man and that his uh, personal property had been lost after 9-11. Unable to find a photo there, an undaunted Yera then searched Ancestry.com and determined Ogletree had grown up in a Detroit suburb. He reached out to a high school there and a few weeks later, an email arrived with this school photo of a young Albert Ogletree. I would say I, I probably jumped a foot. I was... I was very excited. That photo is now being added to the 9-11 Museum Gallery, finally providing a face to the name. That one face will lead to more faces of that person. That's what we always hope. And that, Ramirez says, is the museum's mission. And it's the reason the staff will keep looking for the one other victim's photo still missing, another cafeteria worker named Antonio Dorsey Pratt. The faces are our faces. Greg Sergal, News 4 New York.